Last week we visited the National Grand Palace here in Bangkok. It was an amazing experience, we really liked it. There's a lot of things to do. We spent about two or three hours walking around the different temples, all the little chapels and whatnot, the actual palace. You can see from the outside, you can't really go inside, but it's really nice. We highly recommend going. But as we're walking out of the palace, we're literally about to exit. I've got the tickets in my hand. I'm ready to toss them in the trash can when this booth on the side caught my eye. And I'm like, okay, let's go check it out. Because I saw some images of a show with the, I guess the traditional Thai masks. And what, what originally caught my eye was that we've been thinking about going to one of these shows and they're not cheap. So we, we, we couldn't really decide which one we wanted to go to. So I'm like, okay, you know, we might as well, we're here. Let's go ask the price. So, so we go, we go stand at the booth and we ask him, hey, so how much is this show? How does it work? Okay. Before they go to the theater, you have the ticket inside the camp and you can book the show free. Okay, thank you so much. Well, it turns out it's actually free and included with the palace tickets, which aren't necessarily expensive. They're 500 baht, which is about, I would say $15, which is not a lot per person, $15 per person. But these tickets for the show are included with the palace tickets i'm like holy shit i almost literally had the tickets in my hand i was ready to throw them away and up. yeah it's completely crumbled up and it turns out it's included with the ticket so turns out they do these shows every single day monday through friday at one o'clock we were thinking about going right then and there but i was i was pretty tired we have been walking around the palace for about three hours it was like a hundred degrees out I was sweaty and all I wanted to do was just go home and have a shower. So we decided to go home, rest in and come back today. So we're going to the palace now. Hello, how are you? Two tickets in the orange line. Thank you. Good like two fires movement so graceful while cat in the jungle with dangerous claws movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey like stars in the darkest night crystallized fascinating if you want to stay alive if you want to be her prey don't step in her way right now we're riding the orange line up the river which is one of the river boats that go up and down and in my opinion it's probably the most fun cheapest and quickest way as well. Also very pretty, you get to see part of the Yeah, town. you get to see the city. Now, if whatever you're going is close to or near the river, this is definitely the way to travel. The price of the tickets is 16 baht per person, which is literally 50 US cents, which is really cheap and we love it. Okay, we made it here. We're walking towards the palace now. We're about three or four minutes away. And I guess we'll find out when we get there what exactly we need to do. What exactly... Some crazy guys screaming behind us, but we'll find out what, what exactly we need to do to go to this show. I'm actually not sure what we're going to find. I'm... Uh, I'm skeptical, you know, with free things, you really, you never really know if it's going to be good, or amazing, or terrible, so. Unless the palace ticket is very expensive due to the show. That's a possibility too, that's a possibility too. But I'm, I'm open-minded. I purposely didn't do any research on this show at all, so I can remain open-minded and I have no bias going in. I'm prepared for a show to be amazing and it's up to them to disappoint me. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Fingers crossed, okay? okay. This ticket? Good. So for this one, I show you here, come here. For this one for the ticket for the show, have the okay. trip 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay? Okay, so you I give you this. Or yeah, you? for you keep the theater. Okay, yeah, perfect. You Thank here. you. Can we sit on that one? Yeah, first must stand on the one. 
We are on our way to the little theater now. We have to sit separate seats. <laughs> uh, we had to sit separate seats because we were the last two people to join or I guess board the little bus. They bring us all the way at the back. I don't know if you can see it back there. But I got to sit in the front, which is pretty cool because I got to see everything firsthand. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure to like this video. Okay, so that's the theater right there. And I'm guessing we're about to get dropped off. We made it to the theater. It was only about, what, 10, 10, 15 minutes, right? Yeah, not bad. It wasn't bad, and it was really pretty. We got to see all the parks and monuments on the way, so it's kind of cool. That's the theater back there, let's go in. Perfect, so we made it just in time. I think we have to wait about 10 minutes. We cut the last bus for the one o'clock, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So we're about to go inside. I'm excited. We made it inside. We see the theater and then we are now waiting for it to start. We just walked out of the theater and to be perfectly honest, it was really cool. It was just short enough that you could enjoy it without getting bored, but at the same time long enough that you felt like you did something. Like you weren't here just for 10, 15 minutes after traveling an hour, hour and a half to get here. Now, I've seen a lot of different shows around the world, but when it comes to traditional colloquial shows. This is probably one of the best ones I've ever watched. What do you think? You agree? Really cool. Yeah, it was very cool. Very cool, very entertaining. I find it very interesting how the, the girls are so girly and the things that they girly? do with their hands. No, girls yeah. are just a little bit more double jointed than men. <laughs> it looks like, how tight their necks are. Yeah, so it feels like they're floating in the, yeah, floating in the air. It's, it's actually really cool. We, we had a good time. We highly recommend it. So we're walking down the street coming out of the theater and on my right hand side is this, found this beautiful little park. I thought it was closed because the gate's small and I guess they had a security guard right outside. I, I honestly thought I was gonna get stopped as we're walking in and it goes like, no, no, no. <laughs> Walks right in and this place is empty. There's nobody here other than the, a bunch of gardeners that are watering everything. Um, Everything's super wet. It's water, <laughs> water everywhere. But it's amazing. They have these uh, cute little bridges everywhere that you can walk through. And what are, what are these things? A gazebo. A gazebo. <laughs> they have these little gazebos everywhere, which are also kind of cool. A lot of flowers, colors. Lot, yes, beautiful colors. And they have fish, koi fish everywhere. And we saw a dragon. <laughs> not a real dragon, like a fire breathing dragon. Uh, that was a real dragon, <laughs> not the... I gotta find out what this place is called because it's, it's really nice. We should come back. 